a team of American scientists have been approved to try and regenerate the brains of people who have been declared brain dead. I guess if it works, it changes the definition of brain dead, which had been the irreversible loss of function. But if it turns out to be curable, then the patients were never irreversible in the first place. Being dead is technology dependent. Even not having a heart isn't death if you're on the surgeon's table. An ethical question is if this would actually help the person, and assuming it works, if the regenerated brain is actually that of a new person, missing many of the memories and information stored by the original brain. Memories, personality and functions <laughs> might be scrambled, lost, or replaced with newly grown tissue. The new person might have a life worth living and enjoying, but they could be said to have benefited in the same way that a child benefits from being born into the world. If there is limited or no mental continuation of their old selves, then the original person won't benefit. They are now truly dead, since their body and brain have become someone new. It is the relationship between our physical selves and who we are. How much of your body can you lose before you are no longer you? The research team at the heart of the study may make progress, or they may have just been trying to raise funds for a sci-fi movie. But eventually, science and medicine will move in the direction of reviving more people and saving more lives. I wonder what it will look like when, instead of saving lives, we start making new ones.